Hi, well welcome to the CBT Nuggets Continuing Linux series. In this series we build on what we did in the introductory series with the goal of preparing you for the Red Hat Certified Engineer exam. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this introductory bit is just go over a, sort of a big picture of what's to come in the series. Uh, we start by talking about installation issues, and we spend five considerations, uh, like you know what kinds of hardware work with Linux, how much disk space is required, that sort of stuff. Then we move on and we talk about partitioning. Okay, so we go over the tools that you need uh, to partition your disks, things like FDisk and uh, Disk Druid. Okay, these are two useful tools that you should know uh, about for partitioning your disk, automating the installation process, and this tool is called Kickstart. Uh, we, then we talk about some advanced installation issues. We talk about RAID arrays, okay, and configuring a RAID array for your system. So a RAID array is like an array of independent disks. So it's for very high performance applications. You get much more uh, performance out of disks if you can split them up and it improves the performance. And we'll talk about how to configure those on your system. We'll also talk about uh, post installation issues, things like validating your installation, important scripts and configuration files that sort of stuff. Once we get done talking about installation issues, then we move on and we talk about the Linux windowing system. Okay, and we spend a couple videos talking about that for us. And then we talk about the various desktop environments that come with Linux, uh, things like uh, GNOME and KDE. We also talk about the various window managers that come with Linux and uh, sort of their function in the whole windowing process. <clears throat> and then we talk about basic system administration and we spend four videos doing that. Well, if you had a system in your house and, and you were the only person that used it, okay? So this is like very basic system administration, very fundamentally important system administration topics. Uh, first we talk about the RPM, the Red Hat Package Manager. So if you're going to install software on your system, this is the way that you're gonna do it on a Red Hat system, no matter if it's your own personal system sitting in your system. We'll also talk about the rescue environment. Now when I say rescue environment, what I'm talking about is like if you go to boot up your system and it doesn't boot up, okay, maybe there's some hard disk failure or something like that, all right, well then what you have to do is you have to boot into the rescue environment and we'll go over how to boot into the rescue environment, the kind of tools that are available to you, and also uh, we spend a couple videos talking about user administration topics. Uh, we talked about user administration topics in the introductory videos and we'll just build on those in this particular series. Uh, we'll talk about the user environment, we'll talk about uh, groups and quotas and things like that. Okay, uh, then once we're done talking about basic system administration, we move on and we do it's a little bit too advanced for that series and we bring it up in this series. Uh, we talk about upgrading the kernel and we actually do a kernel upgrade uh, from 2.4.18 to 2.4.20 in this series. Okay, and we also talk about recompiling the kernel, and we actually do a recompile of the kernel from source code. All right, so these are uh, very uh, information for people that need to mess with the kernel and customize your kernel for some particular use. Uh, then we talk about network and internet services for five videos, and I split this up as like network and internet services because some services are just for your local area network, while some services are more geared towards the internet, like uh, Apache web server and things like that. So we start Apache, which is probably the most popular web server on the internet today. Uh, we talk about uh, mail services for a video. So we talk about setting up an SMTP server, we talk about using POP3 servers, we talk about the various email clients that are available to you in Linux. Uh, we talk about DNS and bind for a video. Uh, then after that we talk about a discussion of network and internet services in these five videos. And then after that, we talk about scripting for a couple videos. Uh, we'll, continuing, we'll continue what we learned from the introductory videos about Bash shell scripting, and we'll build on some of that stuff. And then we'll also talk about the Perl programming language, and we'll talk about Perl scripting. Okay, so this is your first exposure to Perl, some of the things that we learned in Bash shell scripting. Uh, the scripting video in the introductory series, I got lots and lots of emails from people saying that it was so useful. Even though it was maybe just a teeny bit off topic, uh, they just found it useful to, for helping them to do other things in Linux. They were able to read scripts that they didn't understand before and things like that. So I figured I would continue it in this series. It just come with your Linux installation. And if you're curious about what they do, you have to be able to read the scripts. And so hopefully this uh, particular video will get you on the way to learning Perl and being able to understand what all those various scripts do and also being able to write your own scripts. 
And then we talk about security and performance for the last three videos. So we talk about performance monitoring. How do you monitor performance problems? And what, what, what's the problem? You know, what's the underlying problem? That's, that's what we're getting at there. And then we talk about security for a couple of videos. We talk about uh, NIS. We talk about uh, Zynet, which is the Extended Internet Services Daemon. Uh, we talk about uh, PAM, which are pluggable authentication modules. And we talk about firewalls. It's to start the series, you know, get right to it and uh, and get down and dirty and start learning this stuff. And I hope also what happens is that you know my enthusiasm for the subject comes through, and that motivates you to go out and actually take the stuff that you're learning in this series and apply it to your job or your your home system or to experiment a little bit and then uh, you know bounce some ideas off people. And the other thing, is, but by no means should this be like the only education that you ever see with Linux. Go out there onto news groups, go out there onto forums and things. And and post some questions and learn stuff from the other people that have been experienced with Linux a little longer than you have. There's always something to learn. I'm always on the forums every week, either you know asking a question. Every time I ask a question, I try to poke around and answer a few as well. So that's all I have to say. Let's get started with the Linux series.